Seven Myths About Singing. Hey guys, my name is Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, and I'd like to discuss with you seven myths about singing. And the very first one is, you're either born with it or you're not. Well, actually that's not true. I wasn't born with it and I had to earn every note, and that's a fact. But I wanna play a little clip for you by Ed Sheeran, who also shares the same sentiment. Check this out. And do you still have uh, some of those old CDs that you couldn't sell? <laughs> yeah, I do. My mum eBay's them. Wow. <laughs> hey, that must be quite a nice little industry for her. What does she get for a CD? I don't know. I think, I think you know, I mean, they pretty much all go to charity. She, she supports the children. Well, we all say so, that. Um, no, no. <laughs> For charity, that's a very nice thing to do then. Yeah, well, okay. some, some of them I won't sell because they sound... Like, well, drink. they're the ones we're interested in. <laughs> God. Oh, God, they're really bad. How, when you say really bad, though, what was wrong with them and what was right, different in the play. music you were doing then as opposed to... I'm going to play you a song. Okay, so this is, this is my thing. When, when people go, when people go, oh, oh you're, so, you, you're so talented, you were born with natural talent. And I'm like, mm, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a listen to this, right? This is, this is the... Um, have you, has this been played in public before? No. Okay, so this is, so this is, oh, um, this is an exclusive Ed Sheeran when he was shit, basically. Yeah, basically, basically all I'm saying is when, when, when people say artists are born with talent, you're not. You have, to, you have to really learn and really practice. This is me playing guitar and singing. I'm going to put it into my mic like this. It's okay so far. It's so so he has had his gone. Oh. <laughs> and then, and then. But I'm oh. 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 Wow. But you know what? Wow. Do you know what? I did practice. After that, you practiced. I did. Yeah. No. I just. I did. I probably needed it. <laughs> Don't want to Justin Bieber's tracks. Bieber's Bieber's not Bieber's not without his charm. I, I, I sat I sat in a Range Rover once with Bieber, with him playing me his songs and him being like, "Yo, my shit's so dope." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> sweet." Okay, so it's obvious that this is an acquired thing, and I'm not saying that others aren't born with more talent, and you know, some that just practically came out of the womb singing. That's fine. But um, I know for myself, I had to earn every note, and it sounds like Ed Sheeran had to earn every note. So uh, truth be told, a singer is only a singer because they have the guts to be one and to put in the time and put themselves out there and really understand what it takes to learn to train. That's the first one. The second one is that you can't increase vocal range. Well, that's actually just not true. Um, my highest note when I was younger was what's called an F sharp four. It's a pretty low note. And I learned through a specific sequence of training uh, to sing well over an octave of that and sing well into the soprano range. Did it come overnight? Absolutely not. But I did get there because I understood how to get there and it was very important. Uh, number three, people that sing light cannot sing heavy. And people that sing heavy can't sing light. Well, if you sing light, there's a certain way to approach the voice to get a nice bright ping in the sound in order to be able to grow that sound. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna be, have a big, huge voice like a Pavarotti or something or your favorite you know, uh, pop or rock star, but lighter voices can absolutely grow into a dark or darker and bigger timbre or brighter timbre, excuse me. Um, and uh, this is also true for the reverse. A big voice can add air to the sound and also go into like R&B tones and jazz tones and lighter things that are more sensitive, pop tones. Um, so they both can, can move in either direction. Uh, number four, you should always rest through colds and flu. Absolutely not true. You do if you have a respiratory illness or if you have a constant post-nasal drip that's causing the uh, uh, voice to go hoarse and you have dysphonia, which means there's no uh, sound coming out. But we actually sing through colds and flus because it keeps the voice strong, it keeps moisture in the cord, um, and also uh, the recovery time is much, much faster. So anyway, uh, number five, you should only warm up 30 minutes a day because you want to save your voice because you're scared that you're not going to have enough left. Well, that's utterly ridiculous. It's like any muscle in your body. The more you train and train correctly, and by the way, I have a singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, 
And I cover all this stuff in my singing course, exactly how to do these things. But anyway, so to save your voice, you should only sing for 30 minutes and you know, whatever. I actually warm up for at least an hour, sometimes 90 minutes before I sing four or five hours. So uh, the more we train and the more stamina that we build up, uh, the stronger we get. It's just that simple. Uh, number six, there are many ways to learn how to sing and train the voice. Well, that's kind of true and kind of not true. Here's what I mean. There's really one way to learn to train the voice, but there's different facets on what kind of singing you wanna do on how to train the voice. So I would have a different training uh, for a rock guy than I would for an R&B guy, for example, or a different training for um, someone that sings opera. But so it's true and not true. Uh, the last one is that certain voice types or vocal fox, they're called, um, can only sing in certain styles. That's absolutely not true. Uh, you can train one voice to sing in another style and that voice to sing also in a different style. So anyway, I hope this information was beneficial to you guys. Uh, Ken Temple of Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing.